Don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two newly released books, Football, A Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? These books feature over 100 stories from current and former coaches, players, executives, and entertainers from across the football landscape describing what got them involved in the game, what they love about it, and what life lessons the game taught them. You can find your copy or order your copy from our website at footballgameplan.com slash books. Before we get to the report, if you like our style of video and analysis, feel free to show support for Football Game Plan by dropping by our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan and leaving a little something in the tip jar. Every little bit helps us as we continue to improve the quality of our videos and the coverage we enjoy bringing you guys each and every time we put out a project. Thank you again for your support. I was able to check out Dalen Williams' game live versus Cornell this season, and he was equally as impressive live as he was on film coming into this year. Checking out some of his strengths of the strengths of his game, I think the deep ball accuracy stands out instantly. He's a rare player in this aspect because of how consistent he is at connecting deep downfield. In my opinion, he's the best deep ball thrower in college football, just a share above Jacoby Brissett of North Carolina State. Now, to be able to connect deep like this on a consistent basis just opens up your passing game as a whole. As you can see, Williams is hitting receivers in stride on a consistent basis, and that's super frustrating to defenders because, again, you can be in great position, but you can't beat the perfect throw, as you see right here versus Princeton. Outstanding accuracy for the deep touchdown. In this day and age, you have to be able to move within the pocket. Pocket mobility, I think, is another A-plus area of his game, especially in this day and age where guys are a lot faster on the defensive front. Can you get out of the face of pressure? Can you step up into the pocket? Allows you the opportunity to have success deep down the field. We see the escape ability here versus pin. The ability to extend plays with your legs and make things happen on the ground makes you a complete quarterback. Even at 6 feet, 215 pounds, you see a lot of toughness coming from Dale and Williams within the pocket. You have to be able to stand in the face of pressure and deliver a strike. You see here versus Harvard, the play shown around the country, standing in the face of pressure, takes a huge hit and delivers a football accurately deep down the field. Big fan of the placement of Dale and Williams. It helps you out throw coverage. Great coverage right here by the cornerback, but the ball is perfectly placed. You see here versus Harvard. In between three defenders, great throw, allows the receiver to protect himself. And this pass right here is coming right in your living room, right down I-95, in between three defenders for the touchdown. Williams is also a quarterback that sees the field extremely well, keeping his eyes down the field while moving well within the pocket. You see right here, as he escapes the pocket, this is versus Cornell, keeping his eyes down the field and finds the open guy clearing over the middle and hits him in stride for a big gain. So again, being able to see the field, being able to move well within the pocket, being able to connect deep down the field allows you to then have the entire passing game at your disposal. And I think this is an element of Williams' game where he excels. Doesn't matter if he's playing in the Ivy League or the SEC, being able to see the field and see it well is a trait that translates. Now let's move over to some of the areas of improvement for Dale and Williams' game. I think he does way too much at times because he has that knack for making the big play. He has the escapability and the athleticism, so a lot of times he does get himself out of trouble. But plays like this, you know at the next level, are few and far in between. Sometimes you have to take the check down. You have to live to play another down. You can't throw back across the field, even if a guy is open. A lot of times you may not see that drifting linebacker buzzing underneath, and he'll pick that ball off. So I do think a lot of times you'll see him gamble too much to try to make something happen. You see right here versus Princeton, the guy is open right there in front of his face, staring him in the face. Give him the football. Allow your athletes to make plays with the ball in his hands, in their hands. I'm sorry. So again, a guy that tries to do too much, wants to make things happen for his team, you can't fault him for that but these are things he's going to have to be cognizant of as he moves forward as a pro and as a result of that you see him take unnecessary hits and also sacks two things that can't happen as a pro and when he misses he tends to miss high which could end up being intercepted as he moves forward to the nfl
I will compare Dalen Williams' game to NC State's Russell Wilson. I think there are two completely different players. When Russell Wilson was at NC State, he was a guy that did a lot of things, a lot of the same things that Dalen Williams has done for Dartmouth. When he got to Wisconsin, he was able to polish off his game. So I do think Williams has a bit of upside left in his potential, in his play potential. So when I see him and I see Russell Wilson from NC State, I think they are similar players, which means to me he definitely has an upside that you want to work with because I do believe he has pro-level game. Williams ended up grading out as a second round prospect and my number two quarterback in this draft class. I do think traits translate, so it doesn't matter if you're playing at Dartmouth or if you're playing at Alabama. It doesn't matter what you're able to do on a football field from an accuracy standpoint, pocket toughness, mobility, seeing the field. All of those things that are translatable are what you're supposed to look for. When you watch Dalen Williams' play from the time he stepped foot on campus to the time he became a senior, he was very polished. He improved each and every season. He also had a great showing at the College Gridiron Showcase this January with higher level competition available. He was the best quarterback in attendance, had led the scrimmage, had led to a scoring drive in the scrimmage. He did exceptionally well, so I definitely think he's one of the more underrated quarterback prospects in this year's draft class.